The most wild press conference in the history of Peru happened yesterday. I attended the press event in Lima in anticipation to see a brand new Nazca mummy. There was a rumor that this mummy was pregnant with a fetus inside of it, and sure enough, we were shown scans of what looked like a fetus inside of this mummy. If you're unaware of what the Nazca mummies are, watch my documentary, Show Me the Mummies, on YouTube. I spoke with famous Mexican journalist and UFO enthusiast Jaime Mausen before the event. Well, for the first time, we had very important scientists that came from the U.S. One of them, Dr. John McDowell, who won the Gradford Medallion, who is achieved just by those who have had exceptional achievements in the field of forensic science. Then he made an investigation on these bodies and he concluded with his team that the bodies are genuine, that the bodies are tridactyls, that they didn't find uh, anything that resembles some kind of uh, cuts or anything that, is, that could not be considered natural. It's just the beginning, it's a preliminary results, but we hope that with this investigation we will be able to take these bodies out of Peru into uh, important institutions and universities to continue this investigation because I think it's going to change the world. This was the news I was looking for. Many people have wanted an outside independent team of investigators to come in and confirm or deny the claims being made about the mummy's authenticity. And this team appears to be as good as it gets. Dr. James Caruso, Chief Medical Examiner and Coroner of City and County of Denver, Colorado. Dr. William Rodriguez, a forensic anthropologist and the Maryland State Medical Examiner. Dr. John McDowell, a retired professor at the University of Colorado and a forensic odontologist. Soon after the event started, chaos broke loose as the Ministry of Culture and Police raided the press conference in search for the bodies. Breaking news, we're here at the Nazca Mummies press conference here at the Sheraton Hotel in Lima. We're in the middle of Joas Montilla's speech, a group that appears to be from the Ministry of Culture has came in and literally grabbed the microphone from Joas Montilla and just started taking over. Uh, there appears to be a great uh, conflict going on right now. I'm a little confused as to what's happening, but it's chaos here at the Sheraton Hotel in Lima. I mean, real quick, can you update our English audience real quick on what's going on? Just a real quick talk. Oh, you can see how the government of Peru is against this finding. If they say that these bodies are fakes, why are they here? Are they real? What do they want to stop? If this is a finding for humanity, what is happening here? They never wanted to investigate this. They said from the beginning that they were hoaxes, and now they are very valuable. They are here to confiscate them. Why? Why? You understand? I understand. That's the way it is. Think, That's what we had to confront in this country for seven years. So right now, they're here to confiscate the actual bodies that are here yes, on the property right now? Yes, but they right are now. not here. Okay. They are not here. We were not so stupid to bring them here. Did you expect this to happen today? Did you have a feeling they might we, show up? We thought that could be possible. Could be possible. But we didn't think that this was going to happen. I think I didn't think they were so stupid to do this. Because now the attention is in this investigation. Right. What they wanted to do is now going to be the opposite. Now the people is going to want to know why is so much behind this? Why the police is here? You know, if this is not important, why are they here? Okay? When they realized that the bodies weren't there, they left and the conference continued. I was able to get on the microphone and ask some questions to the American scientists. My question was for Dr. McDowell. I was just wondering if you'd be able to explain the ideal peer review process for something like this. Maybe provide a possible timeline if you had to estimate. And yeah, if this investigation goes perfectly for you, like in, this, in a perfect investigation that you could have, what would that peer review process look like for you? Thanks. Uh, very good question. Uh, everything we do in science, hopefully, uh, becomes peer reviewed. 
each of us and many of the other people here have published articles, presented papers that become peer reviewed. And the, the key word is peer. That we have people who have the same level of knowledge or more than we do and look at what we've done. They question our hypothesis, our uh, material and methods, our data collection and data analysis, and then uh, uh, evaluate the conclusions that we've reached. And uh, in order for something like this to be peer reviewed, if I understand your question correctly, is for us to collect uh, more data and put it out there in the scientific community for evaluation be critically uh, reviewed okay. and timeline whatever time it takes uh, i'll defer to uh, dr rodriguez and then to uh, dr caruso to uh, give their opinions or position on this no, I think Dr. McDowell summed it up and you asked about other studies. Well, certainly we would want to, there's been some preliminary DNA studies. We would want actual very definitive DNA studies done uh, at high complexity laboratories. Uh, the carbon dating uh, needs to be repeated with more sophisticated uh, methods. Uh, those are the things that we're looking for. You know, our preliminary investigation really just led to the fact that more investigation is needed. Thank you. More questions need to be answered, and, and I want to emphasize we would love to participate in that. Siguiente pregunta, por favor. Let me ask this question for you. Uh, would you agree to continue this investigation? Is this worth it, Dr. Matovo? Yes. And you are willing to to, the, to coordinate this investigation if if we have the agreement of the government of Peru. If asked, uh, I and my colleagues or other individuals could help coordinate this and help it move forward. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, I'm not impugning the motives of the government of Peru or the Ministry of Culture. Uh, that's not my objective. I don't want to create an environment that's divisive. We want to collaborate. And so uh, I will be glad to work with any uh, reputable organization. I, I agree. Um, more research is needed. Um, it should be done in a open and free environment with exchange of ideas. That's what science is. Just to reiterate, yes, um, uh, it indeed requires more in-depth scientific studies in order to come to a conclusion. And it needs to be looked at by other scientists too to review whatever work. But we would certainly be willing to take the task on to continue this work at, at a very high level uh, and, and in more, much more detail to uh, make a determination as to what exactly uh, we are looking at. Eventually, Dr. Dow got up on the stand and delivered this statement. I'm going to play his full statement right here, fully uninterrupted. All you have to do is look at the British House of Commons or many other congresses or organizations around the world, and you see that similar events occur. This is not a reflection on the people or the government of Peru. Uh, things like this happen, and I'm not disturbed by this. I've been president of many uh, international uh, organizations. I've also uh, chaired faculty council meetings and other types of meetings with faculty. And when the stakes are high, people become very involved, and sometimes we, including myself, sometimes we overreact. And so, uh, again, I, I am not offended. So uh, I do want to uh, thank uh, many people for allowing me the opportunity to be here today and to organize a, a small uh, team of 
people who I greatly respect and have had friendships and professional relationships with for many years. I know that their integrity is unquestioned. Uh, their credibility is at the highest levels, and we would not be here if we expected anything to happen that would affect our credibility. The members of the team that I came here with, who are co-equals with me, they have merely asked me to speak on their behalf. But the uh, other members are uh, Dr. James Caruso, who you heard about, is a forensic pathologist, uh, chief medical examiner of the uh, city and county of Denver, Colorado. Uh, his uh, long-standing uh, curriculum vitae his resume is among the best you could ever find. Now the same is true of uh, our other colleague, uh, Dr. William Rodriguez. Uh, he's a forensic anthropologist and has been associated with a number of different organizations, including the Armed Forces Institute of Pathology in the United States. And also the State Department has done missions for the Department of Defense and the State Department, as has Dr. Caruso. So you have uh, the highest quality individuals who have been invited to come here. And I want to thank uh, Heidi Hassan for uh, helping us to get here. And let me assure you that none of us, Dr. Caruso, Dr. Rodriguez, myself, have received any kind of financial remuneration for being here. We are volunteering our time because we believe that this is a very important investigation. It should not be minimized or trivialized. The, the people involved here uh, are doing their best in a scientific inquiry to find out if we can identify what's going on. I am not calling into uh, question the, the motives of the government of Peru or anyone associated with the government or universities. But remember that universities, the purpose of a university is to do scientific inquiry. And if that is taken away from us or diminished in any way, then we all lose. But, uh, but that said, and, I'm sorry if I rambled just a little bit, but I do want you to know that uh, I, I often speak from my heart and sometimes I'm not totally clear in what I mean. I do have a small short script here today that I will uh, refer to and it will be very short. Um, I think that's appropriate uh, to the time uh, that we are in this investigation, the point that we are. So, if I may, and I need glasses. I do want to thank the gracious hosts, especially the, the University of Ica. The, they could not have been more cordial and professional with us. Everything was made available to us that we requested. Nothing was hidden or kept occult. Uh, everything was available to us. At no point did anyone say, no, you cannot look at that. Uh, anything we asked to see it was provided to us. Let me assure you that Mr. Masson has not interfered in any way or rejected any of his own personal opinions or positions into what the doctors on our team uh, are developing. In fact, he said at the outset, at the initiation of this, that he would not uh, influence us in any way and did not expect a specific outcome. And if uh, we just report what we find. Let me clarify too, any opinions that are expressed today, any comments that I make, are strictly my own. The same is true of Dr. Rodriguez and Dr. Caruso. They do not represent the opinions or position of our employers or of our uh, organizations. So it's, it's us.
Peru is uh, a wonderful country. Uh, this is my first time here. My experiences have been very positive. And I can speak for my colleagues when they have spoken to me exactly the same way. The people, loving, open, uh, very welcoming. And I appreciate that. And the same is true of the people we've associated with the universities or the, uh, the personal uh, people that we've worked, at, or worked, uh, worked with, including uh, Dr. Jose Salsa, who without his help, uh, the progress of our investigation would not have proceeded as efficiently as it has. Now that said, I want you to know that this is very initial uh, examination that we have performed. We have no final opinions at this time, and that's one of the things that we're going to recommend. We respectfully request that the government and the Ministry of Culture uh, allow further investigation unimpeded, and that again is the purpose of scientific inquiry, is to look at it, develop hypotheses. If the hypotheses do not work, we reject them. We move on to other hypotheses or explanations. Um, I firmly believe, as do my colleagues and everyone that I've interacted with, that at every step of the examination process, we should, and I hope we have, pay appropriate respect to the cultural heritage of the Peruvian people and to the bodies themselves. Uh, we have done our best uh, to respect uh, the culture that uh, we are perhaps not as familiar with as we would like to be. Further, we don't believe that scientists in the United States are any better than anybody else. Perhaps we have uh, better facilities and might be a might be a recommendation that if uh, the bodies could be released to other facilities that have uh, better equipment, uh, have experts uh, that would look at any evidence in an unbiased uh, way. Also, we are willing to consult uh, with the government or the. Ministry of Culture to make recommendations of how to move forward with any identification procedures and to perform a proper forensic examination. Now, I, I have a phrase I use often. I say there are no emergencies in forensic science. We take time, we collect data, we analyze that data, we develop preliminary uh, conclusions I want to say conclusion, excuse me, uh, preliminary opinions that will lead us perhaps to a conclusion. Part of the forensic examination might be to determine whether any of the anomalies that have been identified are of ancient modifications or modern modifications. And with a proper forensic investigation, we would hope that we would be able to uh, evaluate the, that. Presently, it is our opinion that what we've examined is worthy of additional scrutiny and study. We respectfully encourage the Peruvian Ministry of Culture to facilitate transfer of specimens to research facilities with the resources, equipment, and personnel to perform further examinations consistent with the highest forensic standards. That said, if the opportunity arises to work appropriately with the Ministry of Culture or any other uh, Peruvian organization, I would welcome the opportunity to work with them. I also have another phrase, none of us are as smart as all of us. If we work together, enjoy each other's opinions, I think we move forward much more effectively. 
Also, at this point, I want to make sure that we have no definitive conclusions and it would pre be premature for me to say so. As a matter of transparency and clarity, I want to be sure that everyone knows no restrictions were placed on our examination procedures and we believe that everyone involved was open and forthright with us. The statements made by our scientific team are our own, and any statements made by others must not be construed to be our opinions. That's the conclusion of my formal remarks.